previous sheets and control page down gives a later sheets renaming a worksheet to rename a worksheet double click we have to click on double click on sheet tab that you want to rename or right click on and rename the option the sheet tab will be highlighted type a new name and press enter you have to type a new name and enter the sheet will be named adding a new worksheet how to add a new worksheet how to add a new worksheet to add a new worksheet select sheet before which you want to place a new worksheet right click on the sheet tab and select insert option the insert dialog box appears with the worksheet option selected click okay you will notice that a new worksheet gets inserted before the selected worksheet or click new sheet icon present next to the sheet tab a new work will be sheet will be added or select insert sheet option in cells group on the home tab to remove a worksheet place the mouse pointer on a sheet tab then you want to delete what sheet you want to delete you have to place the mouse pointer on that sheet and that you want to delete right click on the sheet tab you have to give right click and select delete option then select delete sheet option in cells groups on the home tab then the sheet will be deleted this way you can switch between worksheet rename a worksheet adding a new worksheet and removing a worksheet next one saving a workbook after you enter a data how to save it you have to save by clicking the file tab and save the option after clicking file tab you have to select save option then you have to select save as pain will be appear then click on browse option save as dialog box appears when save as dialog box appears you can see save as type this is file file name you have to give and save as dialog box to browse the drive and folder where you want to save the workbook you have to browse the file which folder you want to save which drive or file you want to save that folder you have to open and save as and click save as so that data will be appeared in that folder type the file name text box here you can see file name you have to give to save the data you have to give a file name and select a drive and folder and click on save option here it is shown as here save option after clicking save button the file will be saved with the extension with this extension dot xlsx with this file extension it will be save the file data you can save your file by using control s key combination you can also select save button in quick x toolbar f12 key can also be used to save the file f12 key also used for saving the file In Excel 2016 adding removing renaming switching and saving a worksheet requires the same steps we has used in Excel 2019 Once we recap the lesson Microsoft Excel is one of the most popular spreadsheet software Excel is the most popular spe spreadsheet software Whereas a workbook is like a notebook which consists of number of worksheets like pages and notebook. An Excel workbook displays displaces a single worksheet by default the name sheet one. In Excel, different types of data can be entered in worksheets such as numbers, text, formulas. Formulas are maybe mathematical equations involving number values and operators used for performing calculations on a worksheet. Let's once revise with some practical exercises in this practical exercise you can see fill in the blanks let's learn some filling the blanks by default a workbook contains a single worksheet next one the merge and center button places the content in the center of the cell across a number of columns and rows with this merge and center button you can type the text into the center middle of the page up 
middle of the center and next one the dash bar shows the data and formula centered in the active cell the formula bar shows the data and formula entered in the active cell next one a worksheet becomes active by clicking dash tab sheet tab next one the name box is present above the dash headings that is column headings let us learn some true or false in this excel lesson through excel lesson we can learn some true or false microsoft excel is most important suited program for documentation is it correct or right true or false it's a true a workbook can contain multiple worksheets yes true let us a to z are row headings the status bar provides information about the current selection yes true it is true the f12 key can be used to save the excel file true let's learn con correct options in microsoft excel dash button is used for performing addition of a cell auto sum button is used for addition of a cell auto sum b by default the text data is dash dash aligned in a cell it is from option a left left aligned in a worksheet there are dash rows how many rows will be there 148 148570 rows and the name box shows the address of an active cell and next one a formula starts with a dash sign every time formula will start with equal to equal to sign and next let's learn some applications based on the questions pallavi's class teacher asked to create a worksheet displaying the timetable of the class she also asked for to save with the name or choice for the rename the worksheet by specifying name timetable suggest a method to rename the worksheet it is a rename option 